University and representing the Consortium of State Maritime Academies. I'm here today about three very important issues as they pertain to the training, education, and development of future mariners. First, the importance of the State Maritime Academies in producing licensed mariners for national defense and economic security. Second, the need to replace the fleet of aging State Maritime Academy training ships that are inextricably linked to our ability to train our students. And finally, the importance of employment and advancement opportunities for U.S. mariners. The six State Maritime Academies, along with the Federal United States Merchant Marine Academy, provide the pool of new mariners our nation needs for national defense and economic security. Collectively, the State Maritime Academies annually graduate approximately 900 new deck and engine licensed officers. This equates to more than 70 percent of the new U.S. licensed officers each year, with the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy producing the remaining 25 percent and another 5 percent working up through the industry ranks. All of these sources are important to ensuring a healthy mariner pool. The ability of the State Maritime Academies to produce licensed officers is accomplished through a unique federal-state-citizen partnership. At SUNY Maritime College, student tuition and fees fund approximately 50 percent of our operating budget, and state funding accounts for over 47 percent. Federal support accounts for approximately 3 percent. The State Maritime Academies are grateful to Congress and the administration for the support provided, and as the fiscal year 2020 budget process progresses, we look forward to working with Congress to maintain the level of support we received in fiscal year 2019. In addition to direct support, the federal government provides each State Maritime Academy with a training ship. The State Maritime Academies require modern vessels of sufficient size to provide the required sea time and training to meet licensing requirements. They are the primary and often the only means for cadets to learn, train, and earn federally required sea time for the U.S. Coast Guard Merchant Mariner License. These training vessels, owned by the federal government, and operated by the State Maritime Academy are also essential assets for humanitarian and disaster relief, ef relief efforts as they were for hur Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, Maria, Sandy, and Katrina. Recognizing the urgency of replacing the fleet of aging training ships, Congress has partially funded the National Security Multi-Mission Vessel, or NSMV, program. The fiscal year 2018 budget included $300 million for the first NSMV to replace the Empire State at SUNY Maritime College. The fiscal year 2019 budget included another $300 million for a second vessel to replace Kennedy at Massachusetts Maritime Academy. The NSMVs are designed as multi-mission assets to serve in humanitarian aid and disaster relief, relief efforts, as well as training ships. The State Maritime Academies are extremely appreciative of the bipartisan and bicameral support for the NSV program and the two ships funded to date. To meet the training needs of the collective State Maritime Academies and have sufficient ships available to support other national tasking and missions, we request Congress continue to fund the NSMV program until three additional ships have been built and delivered. This will ensure adequate capacity for all State Maritime Academies training requirements while providing the flexibility to deploy the NSMVs in response to national emergencies. As others, have, have, as others have testified or will testify today, an adequate pool of skilled U.S. citizen mariners is essential for national defense sea lift requirements and our economic security. While the State Maritime Academies and the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy currently produce an adequate supply of entry-level licensed officers, there's an estimated shortfall of 1,800 mariners to crew all U.S. flag commercial and government reserve sea lift vessels for a sustained period of time of more than six months. We request strong congressional support for legislation and funding that strengthens and grows the U.S. maritime industry in order to provide the employment and advancement opportunities needed to recruit and retain sufficient number of licensed mariners for commercial and strategic sea lift requirements. So in summary, the State Maritime Academies and the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy are essential to producing a pool of entry-level licensed officers for national defense and economic security. Funding is needed to replace three additional training ships used by the State Maritime Academies in order to maintain our nation's ability to train mariners 
and respond to natural disasters. And full funding and expansion of current programs and new incentives and legislation are needed to provide employment and advancement opportunities for our mariners. Thank you for the opportunity to testify today on behalf of the Consortium of State Maritime Academies. I look forward to answering any questions that you may have. Thank you.